Major Shah, how do you respond to these developments? And I know that you are a man of defense, but looking at the economy of China, very, very clear uh, to just about everyone that China's autocratic way of fun functioning, Xi Jinping's extreme interference in the business also is sort of turning out to be its own undoing, isn't it, sir? Thank you very much. You know, you perceive me as a man of defense only, but also I did my management from a premier B school like the IIM Calcutta. Okay. So I can tell you, <laughs> so I can tell you a bit on this, you know. Uh, here, Alibaba, which was very fast growing and we had, they had their, their, they had their fingers, they had their stakes in almost so many companies, which was invisible invasion by China. One had not expected that China would do invisible invasion. For example, I'll give you a small, I'll quote a small example. If you wake up early morning, actually, and if your mother or, or tells you to order bread from Baker's Basket, it has stay, tiny stakes. You take an Ola or Uber to go for work, it has tiny stakes. You go, you, you send a gift to somebody through a parcel through whip card, it has tiny stakes. You go to a different city, you book a, a room, uh, an Oyo room, it has tiny stakes. You go by, by you, you book a ticket to go to out of town, make my trip. It has Chinese stakes. So there are so many Chinese stakes in all over and Alibaba, the giant, they have a lot of stakes. Now, I will tell you, they say a small drop in the, a small drop makes an ocean, right? Okay. Now, Alibaba has been having major, major losses in three months, 10,000 layoffs. 50% down by what they were. I mean, look at just look at the downfall. And I would say I would I would attribute it to another movement which came boycott China. People when they realized when the education was spread that okay, they are going at a fast pace. Let us make a drop in the ocean somewhere. Let's contribute our bit. And people started you and me. People started boycotting China because 70% of the Indians, 70% are people who use Chinese mobile phones. You may not be using, I may not be using, our panelists over here may not be using, but then the fact remains, like we saw in the pandemic, people who were actually going on foot, most of them had Chinese mobile phones because it's cheap and uh, it's affordable, so people go for that. And the moment we said, okay, let's boycott China. Now, also one more thing, you know, the Russian stock exchange, where we actually invest money, it's rooted to China. And that money is used by Chinese, Chinese military against us. So we may not realize it. It's all invisible. So there are so many things because China is so ahead in technology. And they are moving at a very fast pace. But let me tell you that bluff has been called off. Now when Alibaba lays off so many people, it reflects very, very poorly. And again, obviously, through uh, uh, they, it will be highlighted and, they, and their stakes will further go down. The investment, people who invest in Alibaba would further go down because nobody would want to bet on a losing horse. They would always want to bet on a, on a fast moving, on a, on, a, on a very winning horse, right? So Alibaba, I'm estimating Alibaba's shares to drop further when actually in the near future. Well, absolutely. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, since I call you a man of defense, we have at least two other defense experts. You are, you are a man, as I said earlier as well, who dons many hats. 